In this tutorial I'll create this little planet effect in GIMP. I'll close off the uh, introduction screen. We don't save. I'll load our image. Now the image needs to have a, a reasonably clear blue sky especially with a few buildings etc in there. This one here or the and, and trees make a, a nice effect. There's no need to cr crop the uh, image or anything like that. We just go straight to filters to distort and pile accordances. We click on the uh, the filter and we'll go through. Now the filter uh, normally goes from the top and brings it into the center but you can ask it to map from the top. So you untick the, the checkbox there and it turns it the other way. Now we don't change any of the settings here. The default's perfectly right for this one here. Click OK and GIMP goes and uh, does that effect for us. Now when GIMP uh, runs the filter, it, it, any edge of the, uh, of the image will have a straight line. So we choose our fuzzy brush, we go to our clone tool, and we uh, change the opacity down just a fraction, and now we increase our brush using the, the bracket keys on the keyboard and we just take a, a part of the image there, we hold the control key down click the left mouse button and then move across and then place some of your tree in that area there it takes away that join mark and also come down and do another control and once again clean up the join it doesn't matter about covering that parts of the branches and also in here and we can put in a little bit more and change some of that effect once again control key and change get rid of that uh, harsh join mark now that's reasonably okay the next thing we need to do is right click the top layer and add an alpha channel that'll make it transparent I want to remove the white in, the, in this image so I go to my fuzzy select tool and select that area there I just hit the delete key on the keyboard and it removes that side of it. Now I click on this side with the fuzzy select tool. Once it's selected I hit the delete key on the keyboard and remove that as well. Now the next thing I need to do, I go to select and select none. The next thing I do is to put a new layer in. Now normally you could uh, just swivel this around with, without any problems. I'll, I'll I'll spin it, I'll leave it as it is. I'll go to layer and add a new layer. Now normally I wouldn't need to do that. We're going to put in a, a blue sky on that layer. So we go to our bottom layer and go to the eyedropper tool and pick the very edge of the, uh, of the circle of the skyline. And now we go to our top layer again and fill that with the color blue we just chosen. Now we move that layer below our image layer and now we have this effect. Now the, the, um, the building is upside down so we go to our rotation tool which once again we click, click the top layer, that's the one we'll be working with. Choose the rotation tool and then just rotate the, that part of the image around until you feel maybe the building a little bit off a little bit off uh, the, uh, the the image capturing software is making it run quick okay let me re rotate it there now you can see why I put the other layer in I could have worked with the the transparency of the uh, the top layer now we've got the other layer in and uh, it does the rotation now I click, click the top layer and merge down. That was the right mouse button by the way and we merge down. Now there's a slight bit of uh, colour variation on the on the blue. So I make sure I've got a fuzzy brush. I go to my uh, brush tool and turn the opacity down just a fraction. We don't want it too heavy and we just increase the size of the brush and we just brush that a little bit out of the way 
so it blends better with the uh, with the other so it looks a bit more like the cloud and the atmosphere of your planet okay that's not too bad we've got a nice little planet there now the next thing we need to do is to make it feel like it's in space so we go back to our filters and we pick light and shadow now I've tried look at light and shadow I've tried the uh, flare and the, and the sun drop and etc I found the supernova quite a good one so I click on the supernova and you could choose any of those if you, if you like to put those in the light, lighting effect now you just click in the area there because the supernova is not shown at the moment there it is there and we just move it to an area that we feel it'll be okay now the radius is pretty well much defaults are quite good otherwise you can have too many um, radian arms and you've got 100 spikes there so it's quite a lot we click OK and GIMP puts our little um, supernova in now it gives it like a sun sun spot effect that um, shines brightly on your new planet your little mini planet now with our little supernova in the distance it sort of gave it a bit more depth in the photograph and uh, it gives you the, Im the impression that it is in space so it becomes a mini planet uh, thank you for watching uh, rate the video and you'll find on my channel there'll be a link to the web page where um, all this is laid out in the PDF format and once again thank you for watching